Hi, this is Dick. And before we get into this week's CleanCast, I'm excited to announce a new training program that we've developed for supervisors. It consists of 12 lessons, 6 DVDs, complete with exercises that help the learning process and discussion questions at the end of each lesson to assist also in the learning process. I'll be leading each session, which help the participants better understand the subject matter rather than just watching a video. Companies can use it in a group session or a one-on-one -on -one session for that new supervisor that you just brought on board. Most sessions are about an hour, but each company has the flexibility to stop the DVD and interject anything from their company that they want to make sure that their supervisors are able to comprehend from what they want. As management, you can choose how long you want them to be, but most of them, if you just follow the format, it'll be about an hour. Now the good part. This six DVD, 12 lesson set will be available about March the 1st. And everyone will have an opportunity at that time to purchase it for the regular price of $239 for the six DVDs. But if you pre-order from our website at consultantsandcleaning.com, you get a special introductory price of only $189. If you place the advance order, you'll get all six of the DVDs, all 12 lessons, me personally conducting the lessons, and that's about $15 a session. Even if you paid full price, it's about $20 a session. So I want you to order today, get the special pricing, because on March 1, the website will reflect to $239. Now, on to our clean cast. Welcome to our clean cast today. Thanks for joining us. I've entitled this one, Negative or Positive? That's, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Are we negative or are we positive? Did you know that 90% of what goes into your mind every day is negative? Whether it's people around you, whether it's news, um, the news media, the newspaper, the magazines that you might, 90% of what goes into your mind every day is negative. Kind of makes it tough to stay positive, doesn't it? But you know what? You can, you, that it's all around you, but you know what? You can change where you are and what you are by changing what goes into your mind. The fact that it's 90% negative around you doesn't mean you have to listen to all of it. If you want to stay positive. You know, I have a phrase that I say, if somebody says, how are you doing? I say, wonderful, but I'm getting better. And people look at me like, you've been sick? No, I'm just wonderful getting better. I'm getting better every day. And I get some of the strangest. You know, in fact, I had a young man at the checkout counter at the grocery store recently tell me, that's a con. You know, that, that's a fake. I said, no, it's not a fake. I feel good. I'm excited. I enjoy it, what I'm doing. And he said, well, I think it's a con. Suit yourself. Of course, I haven't been back to the grocery store either, but nevertheless. You know, uh, I think it was Zig Ziglar said some people find fault as if there was a reward for it. You know anybody like that? It doesn't make any difference what you talk about. They're going to find fault with it. Or they're going to say it, that, that isn't true. Or, yeah, it's easy for you to say. Uh, they're going to find, you know, I thought it was interesting. They find fault as if there's a reward for it. Reward for it. I hope that's not you. But if it is, let's make some changes. You know, the uh, Alcoholics Anonymous has a great saying, and I think by now probably everybody knows it. If you keep doing what you've been a-doing, you're going to keep a-getting what you've been a-getting. And if you want to keep receiving all of this negative information into your mind every day, then I guess you're going to live a pretty negative life. You know, today, every, what you are today whether you're up the lung, up the ladder, down the ladder, just getting started in business, you are a you are a result today of everything that's gone into your mind. Everything that's everything that's happened to you, everything that's gone into this brain is what you are a result of today. So if you want to change some results, if you want to change what's happening, you need to change what goes in the mind. One last thing on this. You know, several years ago, and I mean, this has probably been almost 20 years ago now, CNN had a uh, Sunday morning 
um, program called The Good News. And it was, uh, it was a 30 minute program and the idea was to pinpoint and to, ex to talk about some good things that were happening in America. And they would go to different states and say, you know, see, see people who were really doing a great thing with the needy and the poor or, uh, you know, whatever it might be and, and talk about how great this was. And the, the program lasted about three months. And one of the reasons it only lasted three months, they couldn't find a sponsor. The sponsor came in and, you know, for a few episodes and said, you're not going to get much, view we don't have much viewership. We don't have enough people watching this show. And they were right. There weren't a lot of people watching it. So while we complain as human beings about all the negative stuff around us, it seems to point out that we kind of prosper on that. We kind of thrive on that. So let me put it to you. Not happy with where you are today? Maybe you need to change what's going into your mind, change how you are acting, maybe even change some of the friends you associate with, some of the people that you hang out with, so to speak. Could have a big impact, a big impact on your success in this world, in this life, in this business. Try it. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.